Welcome and bienvenidos to Cultural Capacity, a podcast sponsored by Educator Aid Incorporated, where our team is committed to supporting individuals and organizations on their journey of self aware leadership, emotional wellness, and development of effective cross cultural communications. Let's get ready to explore the following topics together by biting into them with little pieces that go really deep to examine ourselves. Topics like bias, culture, cultural psychology, cultural neuroscience, diversity, equity, inclusion, and racial equity. Our episodes are all 10 minutes or less and intended to serve as introspective tools for you as the individual leader or the teams that you're leading. Be sure to check out the links in the podcast description where you can sign up for our free quarterly subscription, Better Community, as well as tap in and submit your questions via the voice message button. Let's get ready to learn together. Today we explore the concept of control. And from a psychological lens, quite possibly one of the most difficult actions that we must do daily as leaders, second by second, minute by minute, really, in our decision making, if we hope to be making equitable decisions, inclusionary practices in in how we lead and igniting those two things, we must surrender control. And it is often the biggest barrier to actually breaking through our human biases because we have systems and structures that exist that are not created for everyone, that are not equitable. And as we work together in our journey to ensure that we are treating people equitably and with inclusionary practices in our organizations and in our personal worlds, um, control is often the barrier that gets in the way of breaking through our biases. So you might be wondering, well, how do I give up control? And I'm going to tell you, it's a really, really hard thing to do. It's something I struggle with. It's something I will likely always struggle with and all of us do as humans. And it can manifest in really ugly ways um, when we try to over control situations And I want to tell you just one practice that may help. Often when we are in distress, we do respond or react in such ways that ignite or assert our authority or positional authority or the authority we believe that we have. Now, that doesn't mean that it actually exists. It could just be a narrative in our heads that, well, because this is my title for my job, everyone should listen to me. That's a concept related to control. And it's also very hierarchical. It's very top down and very adverse, actually, to a distributive leadership model. So what I put out there and what I suggest to each of us daily If we hope to surrender, if we hope to surrender our outcomes, if we hope to relinquish control in situations where it could become oppressive to people's voices and it could actually become very inequitable in our decision making is to focus on self. Each morning when you wake up, Think about your gratitude and you might say, well, that's corny. Yeah, I know. Or I already journaled my gratitude journal, whatever your practices are, whatever makes sense for you. Maybe you go walking, maybe you um, work out in the mornings, but you have to focus on self. The more that you develop self-awareness and you become almost obsessed with really learning about yourself, how you respond to conflict, how you communicate when you find yourself in distress how you motivate others, how you are motivated, the more that you're diving deep into becoming aware of yourself, the more that you can develop that sensitivity to when you might feel as though you are trying to control a situation, which in reality, in most situations, we don't have all the control over. Um, We do have creativity, meaning we can create environment or we can create conditions for how success might look. But at the end of the day, 
becoming more self-aware will decrease the innate human knee-jerk reaction to want to control, to control others, to control situations, and to control many circumstances, which we don't. And we're actually spending way too much energy thinking that we are controlling. So wanted to leave you all this note. I hope it's helpful. And I hope that you drop some ways or questions in the voice message feature, Um, some ways that you relinquish control, how you surrender outcomes when it comes to a project or a situation or a circumstance. Um, Share those ways. We would love to feature them as well as answer any questions that come up for you from this episode. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself today and tuning in to this episode of the Cultural Capacity Podcast. We're glad you're here. If you found value in this episode, be sure to share out with your social networks. Hit the subscribe button and leave us a review on Apple. You know all the things. Finally, don't forget to take advantage of our free quarterly subscription that is in our podcast description. The link is right there. It's called Better Community, and we would love to have you join us there too. Until next time, take care.